Hello Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I'm going to show you how to create this fabulous background on this card. See how amazing those colors are and that like ombre effect? And that is super simple and perfect for any project that you have. For this card, I used the Hello Life stamp set, which is found in the Occasions mini catalog. I love this stamp set because not only is it perfect for all your Valentines, it's also perfect all year round. These images here are so amazing for scrapbooking or for cards, for anniversaries or weddings. The So Sweet is perfect for any sort of treats that you make all year long. And then just a few little hearts and then that saying which is the one I used on this card is so fabulous I mean do more of what makes you happy how true is that so let's get started for this card I actually use the outline heart to do the background since it is photopolymer it's really easy to be able to line those up and it doesn't have to be perfect either because after all it's handmade and also you can see there how it's half covered up as well so it's not super important that those are absolutely perfect I also added a little love down here in the background and then a little love in the light pink there at the top I added some of the stacks with love washi tape there on the the bottom and then for this amazing greeting I just took a piece of whisper white cardstock so I have this piece here and I used my sponge daubers to create that background so I used pink pirouette crisp cantaloupe and calypso coral so I'm gonna start with my lightest one you can really start with light or dark whichever one you prefer but I'm gonna start with my light and I'm just gonna dab my little sponge dauber into the ink pad and then just keep going back and forth you're gonna go at a fairly decent rate you're not gonna want to go super slow you also don't really want to dab at it like you know pounce on it or do circles as much because you want that even look of going back and forth and just doing that image if you're finding that you're um, hitting the edge of your paper and it's curling up or like you know squishing or ripping or anything like that you're probably pressing a little too hard so you just want to go light and you just want to keep going back and forth even pressure then I'm gonna move to my next one crisp cantaloupe and just do this middle section here and just keep going back until you have that desired color that you wish and get more ink and I'm gonna go a little bit over into that light pink and I'm actually gonna take my light pink and go a little into my uh, crisp cantaloupe as well I want that like even coverage so it doesn't look like one color and another color and instead they kind of um, mix and mingle a little bit better now I'm gonna take my Calypso coral and do the exact same thing just keep going back and forth for these darker colors I really like to uh, make them nice and dark so I keep going back to that ink you know how I love my bold bright colors as well so you're just going to keep going back and forth and again I'm going to take my crisp cantaloupe and come over that calypso coral a little bit as well just so I have that nice melding of colors how amazing is that background you could use this for any card you could use it in any array of colors you could do rainbow colors you could do all one color just lighter to darker uh, you could do different colors like these are kind of you know your pinks corals reds you know there's a little red in calypso coral and that's what gives that um, that more bold image so you could really do this for any sort of project so let's bring back in that sample I then stamped the greeting on top and I just stamped that in basic black you could also use your stays on but it isn't super necessary because you're not actually using watercolor or anything like that you're just using regular whisper white cardstock and then I added a little bow with some of my Baker's twine isn't that super fabulous super great technique be sure to check out my blog at laurastamppad.com for more photos on this and more projects using the hello life stamp set Happy stamping!